Hey, what's going on guys? Crunch Time Gaming back here. I've always wanted to make this video, but there weren't a lot of things to make it about. But now, after 8 seasons of Apex, EA slash Respawn, they've put in some pretty weird things into the game. Most of them they've taken out, or they've apologized for doing it. Basically, this video is kind of just an archive of all the times that they made huge mistakes. Most of them were corrected, but if you guys are a new player, these are some of the things that the community kind of stood out for and denied. And usually if all the regulars and all the pro players, we all get together and we all have a big backlash at Respawn, usually they will reverse the changes that are actually awful. So anyway, let's get straight into it. Now the biggest one that I could remember that no one actually talks about, this was a huge deal back in season six when it first dropped. Now basically what they did at the very start of this season, they put in a shield reduction. I'll put an image up on screen, hopefully that you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anyway, they nerfed all the shields, and once this happened, only 25 health, but 25 health can make a lot in a fight. It totally got rid of every way we ever played Apex. People were getting downed a lot faster, and since it was the start of a new season, there were guns with uncontrollable nerfs and buffs and guns that would completely shred through people. That was before the R99 nerf of late season six. So of course people were very frustrated with this. And I think only four days later, not even a week into the season, like the next Tuesday patch, they reversed it. They said that they made a huge mistake by reducing shield sizes and then they just put them back to normal. Everything was back to normal, and it, the hate went away. It kind of just went right by them with all the other stuff that they do. And that was pretty interesting how no one even remembers it to this day. Hopefully some of you do. I'm sure some people do. But it wasn't a big deal because they got rid of it right away. These were one of the times that they knew if they didn't do what they did, Apex would have died for sure. I would have definitely left Apex because the games were just not fun anymore. I cannot believe one little cell level but that was all it took to make or break a fight. Now this next one, I'm sure none of you remember this one. I remembered this one when I was recording the video and finding things that they have done. In the first Shadowfall event of 2019, I think it was, basically what was happening is if you shot enough shadows, if you shot 20 shadows, not real people, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can look up some clips of Shadowfall. It's basically just the Halloween event we get each year. So during the first event of Shadowfall, different from the 2020 version we got of it, and basically during the original version of it, it was pretty much just infection. Everyone who died would come back and try to kill the people who were still alive, and people who, who were alive could kill each other until a certain point. Well, anyway, during this time, people were able to get their 20 bomb badges by killing 20 shadows, I know, right? So these shadows who are one tap were easily killed, and Respawn forgot to do something with it for you not to get player kills for these shadow kills or zombies, whichever one you want to call them. But anyway, people were killing hordes of these things because you can just respawn, kill the person, respawn again. And this even gave people the advantage for just a little bit to actually have their friends die and then keep shooting their friends. This was a really interesting thing that they added in and it gave some people some free 20s but what ended up happening is it was patched not even 24 hours later because that's a pretty huge deal you can really abuse that if you try and what ended up happening is they completely shut it down and they patched it within that time and a lot of people were able to get free 20 bomb badges during that time just for shooting one tap legends now this is one of the last major mistakes i'll talk about and at the very end i'll leave a miscellaneous card up a bunch of little mistakes that they made that could have gone really bad if they didn't fix it or have any attention to it but anyway this last mistake comes in between season four to season seven now what ended up during these seasons is they decided to put in a filler season and everyone thought we were going to a new map after season 5. They got all the hopes up and they never said, like no one on Twitter, no respawn devs ever said, yeah we're not going to a new map. Because everyone got their hypes up and everyone was expecting the trend of getting a new map in Apex Legends every two seasons to occur in Season 6, which that didn't happen. Now we don't know why it didn't happen. Maybe they wanted a filler season with more money. Maybe it had to do with COVID since they planned things out in advance and their 
map wasn't done yet. I'm pretty sure that is the most likely reason of it, but at the time of season five, at the very end, everyone was saying, please hurry season six. And then when we got season six, and according to my polls in the community tab, Everyone thought that Season 6 of Apex Legends was the worst season that we've ever had to date. Now, now I enjoyed it because Rampart was a pretty good legend, but everyone else was mad and after about a couple months of cooling down, right, everyone threatens to leave and that's basically it. But they did build up a lot of hype for Season 7, which eventually they did put in the new map, but they really strung people out and they made people think that there was going to be a new map coming at the start of Apex Legends Season 6. Now the big mistake at the end of the day in this problem is they put a rocket ship in on World's Edge at the very end of Season 5. So everyone thought, oh yeah, the rocket's here, the rocket will take us to Olympus. And then when Season 6 started, all we got was a rocket that was basically like shooting out fire and smoke. So basically for the next couple months, the rocket would just be like, it looks like it was about to be taking off for the next two to three months as the season continued on. But eventually we did get season seven, which came with a new map and a very new overpowered legend. Anyway, that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll definitely be putting up the list either before or after of just like things that they've done, even recently with the new caustic buff and nerf. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I say buff because they'll probably have to buff him back up because they really overkilled him, but only time will tell how he balances in to Apex and the playing field. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more things like this, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.